Everybody watching this video now will appreciate the time and effort that you put in to secure your dream timepiece from your Rolex AD. And I'm gonna go through and tell you the models that you need to go straight to the gray market and don't waste your time with your local Rolex AD. Let's start with the iconic GMT Master Pepsi. I can tell you now from my sources, and I've got one to show you here, that when they go and request the Pepsi from their local Rolex AD, they are being told it's easier to get a Panda Daytona, which is impossible to get, than a Pepsi in 2024. And I'm gonna show you this one here. This is the blue, red, beautiful watch, by the way, Jubilee, which is the most coveted and sought after one. This watch here, for you guys that want this watch, and we see all the time in the comments, I hear all the time on the phone, and all the time at this side of the desk. You guys that want this watch, you are not getting this watch in 2024. Yes, the odd person will get this watch, but 99.9% .9 of you guys watching this that want it, you are just not getting this watch full stop, end of story, production problems, new re-release of the red color, historically, full video on my channel if you wanna check it out about this particular watch. But this one, with all the hype and everything that's going on in the current market, you are not getting this watch. I have a couple more in the GMT range for you. This is the GMT Sprite, the left-hand drive one that Rolex released recently. I've got two variations to show you here. I've got the Jubilee and I've also got the Oyster. For you guys wanting to get this watch, unless you have a very good spend history, unless you have a very good relationship with your AD, you are not getting either of these variations. Some of my clients will actually choose the Oyster, even though they prefer the Jubilee, because they know they have a higher chance of getting it in the GMT range. So for you guys out there that get this particular watch, you have done extremely, extremely well. But let me tell you, constant spend, constant emails, constant communication, and to the point where you're almost begging for one of these watches from your AD to get this watch, and there still is a very good chance you won't get it. Grey market retail price for this watch is 17 to 18. Rolex retail price just under the 10K or around the 10K on the Jubilee. And for me out there, you are just not getting this watch. If you walk into your AD and say, please, can I have a GMT Sprite? They will laugh you out the door. And for any of you guys out there that do get the watch or any of the watches I've just mentioned, LWC have, waiting for you, our very own watch rolls. Triple LWC, vegan leather watch rolls. We've also got Honest Watch Dealer, blue travel case watch rolls available on our website. Use the discount code THWD10 available today. So it's on the right, we move on to the Daytona range. The watch you will never get from your AD is, no surprise, the stainless steel Daytona. The most requested watch from any client looking to buy from Rolex or from your AD, the iconic, the one that everybody covers, the one that everybody dreams of getting, the stainless steel Daytona, and for a good reason, because it's a beautiful watch. I've got a few to show you here. This is the new reference, which I think is the sweet spot for this particular range. We've got the white dial, I've actually got the discontinued one here. This is the double one reference, it's got the beautiful white porcelain colored dial. And in my opinion, I think that is the best one out of the older reference, the discontinued. This is the new reference, this is the one too. I absolutely love this watch. It's got the new bezel insert, it's got the new movement, the new case back. It's got the nice chunky balanced shoulders, which if you notice on this particular early one, this one's got the thinner ones on this side. This is like the holy grail of Rolex. For you guys watching the channel that don't understand, these are the holy grail. They cost just over 13,000 pound retail. There used to be a massive waiting list for this one before, and the one before actually, I've got the early one to show you here. This is a brand new one worn, fully stickered, pre-ceramic, I think this one's 2009. So you can see the sort of changes that Rolex have made over the years from this one to the double one, to obviously the one two reference, and it's always been a coveted watch. And for you guys out there, unless you're spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on a regular basis, unless you are constantly get connecting with your AD, these have to be signed off from Rolex AXQ. They will wanna check your spend history, see if you are worthy of getting this watch. So do not waste your time go into your Rolex AD, buy it straight from the gray. And if you can't afford to buy it, other watches that you've got from your Rolex AD, 
that you've got list price, trade up, part exchange zone, it will stand you at less money and go straight to the grey market. Staying in the Daytona range, it'll be no surprise to you that follow the channel, the Oyster Flex Daytona, the retail price of these has gone up so much this year. The white gold and rose gold is now 28,100. Again, massive spend history to get this watch. I've got one to show you here. I've got the white gold one. This is the AK of the Ghost. This is discontinued one. This is the real sweet spot for this range. This is all you guys want that stealthy look. You want that special feeling watch. You want that one that makes you absolutely smile. This is the sweet spot for the range. You are not getting this watch. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, rubber bracelet. How can you, are you all mad? How can you charge this price? How come it's so much money for a rubber bracelet? It's because it's the sweet spot in the Daytona range for the gold pieces. I actually have one, another one to show you here. This is the John Mayer. So this is show you the difference. So this is, well, we used to get this quite a lot originally, not so much now. Why would you spend so much money on a rubber strap Daytona when you have all that money in gold, all the, the weight of gold with the gold bracelet? Well, trends have changed as we know. This is the John Mayer. This is iconic. This is a collectible. This is not in the category I'm talking about, but certainly with the full gold, this is the sweet spot. And for you guys wanting to get it from your AD, trust me, you will not get this watch from your AD. Another range that I'd like to talk about, for some of you guys out there, you might think, I actually don't like this one. It's not one that's on my list, but for you guys that is on your list, you will not get this watch. And it's the Steel Sky Dweller, retail price just under 14K. We've got the two dial variants. We've got the blue, which I think is the sweet spot for that range. And we've got the mint. It's the bigger guys watch. Don't get me wrong, we have sold them to smaller clients, but the guy's looking for something like a date just with a fluted jubilee, a, a beefier version, that a bit more dressed than normal sports professional. I think the Sky Dweller crosses the boundary for the sports professional and the dress person. I think it hits that threshold. And for the guys wanting the bigger watch, so you guys out there that love that watch, blue is the one to go for, mark my words. The mint green does carry that premium. Hardly any coming through here at LWC on the market. The way into the mid 20s, I think for me personally, overpriced. They should be 10 to 15% more than the blue dial. They're actually more like 20 to 30% more. The blue one's where you should be going. We sell loads at LWC. The Oyster Bracelet and the Jubilees had a renaissance. That's the most popular now. But if you're wanting that watch, trust me when I say this, go straight to the gray, find a credible dealer, and you will never look back. Hope you enjoyed this video. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.